Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about conditional or implication connective in discrete mathematics and graph theory course. We know that conditional or implication connective is one of the logical connective in propositional logic. How conditional or implication can be represented and how it can be implemented that we have to discuss now. Let us consider P and Q are two propositions. These two propositions are combined by using two words that are if and then. These two words can be inserted at appropriate places for combining these two propositions, then we can call it as conditional of P and Q. What are implication of P and Q? Now, how these two words can be used for combining these two propositions? So, if P, then Q. This is one way. That means if word can be used before the first proposition, then word can be used between the two propositions. It can be symbolically represented as it can be symbolically represented as P conditional Q. Okay. Next, another one is, another way we have to combine these two propositions. If Q, then P. That means, if word can be used before the proposition Q, then word can be used between the two propositions. It can be symbolically represented as Q conditional P. Q conditional P. Okay. So, P conditional Q is nothing but if P, then Q. Q conditional P can be read as if Q, then P. It is important to note that P conditional Q not equal to Q conditional P. This is the most important point. In the case of P conditional Q, if P, then Q. Whereas in the case of Q conditional P, if Q, then P. By observing these two statements, we can say that P conditional Q not equal to Q conditional P. Next one. What is the uh, truth table of uh, P conditional Q and uh, Q conditional P? In the truth table, we have to use two propositions. So, N is nothing but number of propositions. How many number of rows that are present in the truth table while considering two propositions P and Q? That can be calculated by using the formula 2 power N. We have to substitute N value 2 in the place of N. So then we are getting 2 power 2 that is equal to 4 rows present in the truth table of P conditional Q. The first column of the truth table represents the truth values of P. The second column of truth table represents the truth values of Q. The third column represents the truth value of P conditional Q. 
fourth column represents the truth value of Q conditional P. Now, when we are considering two propositions, what are the possible truth values? P value is true and Q value is true. This is the first possibility. Second possibility, P value is true and Q value is false. The third possibility, P value is false and Q value is true. The fourth possibility, P value is false and Q value is false. Okay, possible truth values of P represented in first column of the truth table. Possible truth values of Q represent in the truth table in second column. Now, what is the truth value of P conditional Q? Okay, so P conditional Q is false when P value is true and Q value is false. In that case, the truth value of P conditional Q is false. Once again, I am telling the truth value of P conditional Q is false when truth value of P is true, truth value of Q is false. Okay. Remaining three cases, P conditional Q is true. Now, what is the truth value of Q conditional P? Q conditional P is false when Q value is true and the P value is false. Q value is true and the P value is false. In that case, Q conditional P is false. In remaining all cases, Q conditional P is true. So by observing these two columns, P conditional Q column and Q conditional P column, we have to observe the truth values. So both are not same. In the case of P conditional Q, true, false, true, true is there. In the case of Q conditional P, true, true, false, true is there. So we have concluded that by observing these two columns, P conditional Q and Q conditional P. So, we can say that P conditional Q not equal to Q conditional P. So, this is one of the important points. Okay. So, whatever the points that we are discussed with here, that can be uh, represented as nodes. Now, we can go for example. Let us consider we are taking two propositions in the example. First one is 3 is a prime number. That can be represented as proposition P. Second one is 2 is not an even number. That can be represented by proposition Q. Now, these two propositions are combined by using two words that are if and then at appropriate places. So how these two words can be used for combining these two propositions? One way is if can be used before the first proposition and then can be used between the two propositions. We have write it as if 3 is a prime number then 2 is not an even number. Okay, so if word can be used before the first proposition and then word can be used between the two propositions. 
So symbolically it can be represented as P conditional Q. Next. In another way also we are combining the two propositions. So the another way is if can be used before the proposition Q and then can be used between the two propositions. If 2 is not an even number, then 3 is a prime number. So, if can be used before the proposition Q, then can be used between the two propositions. Symbolically, it can be represented as Q conditional P. By observing these two statements, we can say that both are not same. Hence, we can say that, so P conditional Q is not equal to Q conditional P. So, this is one of the most important point. Already we have discussed it here. But this is the example. Now, what is the truth value of P conditional Q? Okay. So, P conditional truth value is false when P value is true and Q value is false. So, we observing that proposition P, 3 is a prime number. We already know that 3 is a prime number so that it contains the truth value true. Next, consider the proposition Q, 2 is not an even number. Actually, 2 is an even number but the proposition can be given as 2 is not an even number so that the proposition contains the truth value false. Okay. Now, P conditional Q is false when P value is true and Q value is false. Then P conditional Q truth value is false. P value is true and Q value is false when P conditional Q is false. So, this value is true and this one is false. True conditional false then P conditional Q is false. Suppose first proposition contains truth value true, second proposition truth value is true then P conditional Q truth value is true. Next, first proposition contains the false uh, truth value false. The second proposition contains truth value true. Then P conditional Q is true. The first proposition contains false value. The second proposition also contains false value. Then P conditional Q is true. Okay, next. Whereas in the case of Q conditional P, Q value is uh, uh, true and P value is false. So here this proposition contains true value and this proposition contains false value. So Q proposition contains true value and P proposition contains false value. Then Q conditional P is false. Okay, in remaining three cases, P value true, Q value true, Q conditional P is true. P value true, Q value false, Q conditional P is true. Next, P value false, Q value false, then Q conditional P is uh, true. Okay, so we have to keep in mind, P conditional Q is false when P value is true and Q value is false. Whereas Q conditional P is false 
when Q value is true and P value is false. In remaining all cases, it is true. This is the simple description of conditional over a implication connective. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts in this video, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really understanding this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates and told them please subscribe this channel. If you really understanding this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. In the comment session, I will give the entire discrete mathematics and graph theory course playlist link. Please uh, refer that link and get all the videos of this course. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.